got you drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. What's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're notified when i upload a new video um so today i'm gonna be working with heolissa i'm just showing you guys everything they sent in the box they sent like an edge wrap lashes a scarf elastic band a bag um a wig cap a hair care card y'all know all of that good stuff so i'm going to be working with a 24 inch six by six transparent lace wig the hair density is 180 on this wig and i'm going to show you what it looks like right out of the bag um i took the hair net and everything off this is the body wave texture from them so i'm showing you guys the construction of the cap you guys can see how big the closure is. I just love six by six closures. You can do nice deep parts. And I feel like the longer or deep your part is, the more natural it looks. So I love that. Um, you get three combs, one in the back, two on the sides, as well as some adjustable straps. And they do bring the wefts around the sides so that when the wind blows, you don't have any wefts exposed. So here are the knots, you guys. I will say these knots were really small. However, they did not bleach the best. I did have to bleach the knots twice and they still didn't bleach completely. And you guys know I do have a bleach knot tutorial available on my website if you need to see that. So I just want to show you guys up close the hairline. It was not pre-plucked. You guys can see it's not pre-plucked. So I did have to do a little bit of work, but I did all of that off camera so I wouldn't bore you guys showing you the same process over and over again. And here's what I have. You guys can still see a little bit of the knots, but once I do the install, it's fine. Um, I use some Garnier Fruitis. This is like $5, you guys, at Target or Walmart. And I like using this on, you know, these type of units. You don't have to use like BioSilk or anything. You can just use something, you know, a cheaper alternative. I did style this unit in Beach Waves. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know that's one of my favorite styles to do on units. It's just so effortless and pretty. Like I love me some Beach Waves. So I attempted to show you guys how I do it. It's really, really simple. I couldn't get it all in the frame, but I'm gonna show you guys like a sideways clip so you can see everything. But you're just going to curl your hair as if you're doing body curls. But depending on how long your hair is, you're going to leave one to two inches out at the end. And you're just going to take your flat iron and straighten it. Like it's super simple, super easy to do. And it looks bomb. Okay, so I was able to show you guys a lot better like this. So y'all know I do my body curls. I curl in alternate directions. You want to do the same thing with the beach waves. Once you get up to the top, however, you do want to curl all of that going away from the face. It just looks better. It frames the face and your curls will fall really nicely. So as you guys can see, I'm curling like I'm doing a regular body curl. And then I left about two inches out at the bottom. And then I'm going to just take my flat iron and straighten it. That's it. <laughs> Before I start curling the top, I always like to go in with my wax stick and my hot comb. The wax stick, you guys, this combo is just bomb. Um, I keep talking about it in every video because y'all, it's just that bomb. I have my hot comb on 465 per usual. The wax stick smells amazing. It's not heavy, it's not greasy. It's just gonna lay down any flyaways, give you a nice shine. And I go over, with, go over it with my hot comb. So that's what you guys see me doing here. And I like to do this before I put it on my head so I have to do less work when I'm actually installing the unit onto my head. It just makes life a lot easier so y'all can see that shine. And right here, I'm just giving a little volume in the front. It looks like when you're done curling and this is before the comb out and it looks so pretty. I did add a little bit of shine to the hair because it didn't have much shine. So I sprayed some Beyond the Zone heat protecting spray. Um, it's not just the heat protecting, it definitely will give your hair some shine. 
And now we're gonna go on to the install. So y'all know the drill. I take my Morphe foundation or whatever foundation I'm wearing. I just been happening to wear this one a lot. So I'm taking that with a foundation brush and I'm applying that all over the front part of the hairline on my cap and where my middle part will be. And I'm gonna do that exact same step on the lace of the unit. So I didn't show me cutting off the lace. I just use my zigzag scissors. Y'all know I either use a razor or a zigzag scissors, whichever I grab first. I just use either one of those. So um, I put on the wig and I had to slide my cap back because the baby hairs were touching my eyebrows and I don't personally like that look on myself. So I had to scoot my cap back and y'all can see like it's already looking blended and I haven't done much like putting the foundation on your lace and on your cap is gonna give you that seamless look. So I'm just making sure my part and everything is straight. And I did use Got To Be spray for this install. So I'm just spraying it right onto the lace, making sure that it's tacked down really good. I'm gonna blow it dry with some cool air. And then I am going to just relay my baby hairs down with some spray. So yeah, like I said, all of the knots didn't bleach. So I just took this really skinny brush that has some leftover concealer on it just to clean up any of those knots that didn't bleach. And then I took some of my face powder, same color as my foundation, and just applied that right there behind my um, behind my baby hairs. So to comb it out, I didn't even use a comb. I didn't need to. The curls had already kind of fallen. So all I did was take my fingers running through and that was a look you guys let me know how you guys like this leave any other video requests down below all the links to this hair will be down below thank you Yolissa for sponsoring this video and yeah I will catch y'all in my next video bye